Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy BK with the Elder Scrolls Legends Central and the Untitled Game Show. And for you guys today, we have another fun tournament on Twitch with the community. For you today guys, we're also doing a giveaway of 10 Heroes of Skyrim packs. This is for Twitch exclusive, so sorry for everybody watching the YouTube video. Um, somebody from Bethesda came in, AJ, and he wanted me to give away 10 packs while streaming. This is why you guys should always come to my Elder Scrolls Legends live streams because well, Bethesda will stop in and said, hey, are some packs. Give it away to everybody watching. So thank you to Bethesda and everybody out here who supports this awesome game. Anyways, let's jump into the match right here between Pick and the one True Tim. So I've made it so that I actually can't see the card in Daily Pick's hand. So I'm going to be watching the match through Trading my over. browser. It's time um, to act. XSplit. So every card that... Uh, he gets I'm not gonna be able to see I want to be surprised as much as I possible about the match so I'm gonna be able to commentate that way all right guys we have brackets set up and I'll be able to show you guys the brackets while I go through the match real quick so uh, it looks like Careful daily then. pick actually Dylan starts off with Ward crafter and let me go ahead and throw up on the screen right now the brackets for everybody who's wondering what the brackets look like so you guys can see that in a moment Bam, just want to show you real quick. Sorry, this is all jumbled together, but it was the last minute. I didn't plan to do a tournament. They just wanted me to do one real quick. So those are the brackets right there. So Wardcrafter trades with the Imperial Grunt. Um, he plays Woodland Lookout, so he might be playing a... Hmm, a Scout deck. I didn't even look what type of deck he's playing, so this is all new to me. I think this will be more interesting when I don't even know what type of deck he's playing. So I don't... We'll just gotta see what he's playing right now. I go with that. I'm actually gonna turn off my deck tracker so Stick none of his cards actually even pop up at all. Into the you can so there you go. Deck tracker actually has been turned off. So we're looking at playing a token deck against maybe a. It has to have a holly uh, dragon. So it's assassin. This is an assassin deck right now. Okay, I could tell from the type of cards. So. Dylan is playing an assassin deck while the one true Tim is playing a token willpower deck. It's gonna have most majority of the cards are gonna be willpower deck cards. I allow them to play with their best decks and come out swinging. So this is going really well for the one true Tim right now. He just has enough creatures on the field to really go ahead and go for the races right now. And unfortunately, it's looking really bad for Dylan. Dylan's gonna have to come back real hard, real fast, and really try to win this match. Right now, if he had a big guard like Hive Defender, but unfortunately he's playing Assassin, so that's not highly possible. And the Lurking Crocodile is not a bad card, but it's really not something that's gonna help him out too well at this very moment. Imperial Reinforcement on the left side is amazing right now. If one true Tim comes out with a uh, Oh, Divine Favor, Divine Favor. This just might be game. If he doesn't have some cards to deal with this, really Ice Storm right now would be amazing. Ice Storm would just be such a devastating play right now. Thank you guys for the follows. I really do appreciate everybody following me. So we got a Cliff Racer on the field, but we still have all the one damage cards in the left lane. I mean, Imperial Trigons can be a problem. So Divine Favor, is that what we see next? Nope, we see the Profiteer. So we're not going to be able to power up those Imperial Grunts. He has the advantage right now, but getting that prophecy that prophecy during Catapus is not enough to really to win this match at all or even come back. So it, it, he could still go face right now. At this point, without an Ice Storm, this match is probably going to be a game. Like, I don't see a way to really come back in this situation without enough guards or Ice Storm to really stop this onslaught from one true Tim. But he's going to go for it at this point and just do his best. Woodland Lookout is on the it's coming out, but look to the skies. Okay, so he had the combo pretty here, the seven magical combo prepared. Now he's up to 13 health. That 13 health is going to allow him to survive a little bit longer, but you don't know. One true Tim could be rocking um Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker is going to give one of his I uh, could give Profiteer a plus. Well, he had that. Ooh, land divided. Okay. Okay, boosting up health and a bunch of strong creatures right here. It's going to be very interesting how this all plays out. On the field right now, we are looking at over 15 damage on one true Tim's side. Now it's down to 12. Woodland Lookout is going to... If Woodland Lookout trades before a monster is summoned, that means he doesn't have any more dragons in his hand. 
So there was no more dragons to play right now. So, oh, the shackle's perfect. Of Leaving course, only six yours. damage on the field. Oh, okay, okay. Here we are in a very interesting situation right now. The tides have technically changed with the amount of monsters on the field. With the amount of monsters on the field right now, one true Tim is going to have to... Okay, perfect move. Destroying him, giving a creature. That's the one problem with some of these cards, you know? Giving your opponent cards is... A creature on the field can be a devastating move. If I was one true Tim, I would still just go face. There's no... I don't think there's a real reason to trade. Trading right now is not to your advantage. I know you have um, only one card in your hand, but if you just do enough damage to face right now, you can help you come back for late game. All right, so let's see how this one plays out. But once again, I don't know what card One True Tim is running right now, so maybe that card is not enough to really help him push towards that victory. The shackle on the right right side was absolutely devastating, just like halting his assault towards his health. If he has Prussian Blows in his deck, which I know a lot of token decks do run, Prussian Blow for that extra reach for victory. Oh, what was that? Why play the... I don't understand playing the Harpy there. That that had to be a misplay from Dylan. I don't understand it. There was no reason to play Harpy there. You've been so much better keeping up the, the Harpy for the next turn to keep shackling again. Hmm. Maybe that was a misplay, man. Kill Divine Favor into Scout and Patrol. See, if that shackle wasn't there before, that would have been enough. So... That Prophecy Shrieking Harpy really did help out quite a bit. Ah, it's not time! I really don't think it's time to go go Assault. I understand you have a high amount of cards in your... Oh, okay, I see why he did it. The Pack Master coming out. Okay, I, I respect this. I respect this fully. Now you just have to hope your opponent is not running... Dawnbreaker. A Dawnbreaker is all is needed to win this match. The one true Tim. Do you run Dawnbreaker? Do you run the item you need to win the match? Golden Saint is not going to do it, man. You need more than Golden Saint. You need the Breaker. Does he have it right now? Oh my god, there is no Dawnbreaker. He has, might actually lose this match. The comeback is about to be real. In fact, if he does run Dawnbreaker, it would have been better to play Crusader earlier so he could possibly draw Dawnbreaker, give Dawnbreaker to the Imperial Grunt, and then push through for the victory. And if you if you don't run Dawnbreaker, you should run Crushing Blows in the deck like that so you could have that reach. This is the biggest problem I see with token decks. Sometimes they just don't run that extra thing to just push towards victory. They just want to have so many little tokens that they're on the field that they don't remember to power their creatures enough up with Dawnbreaker. Or cr like, just have the extra reach. It helps you. Divine Favor is great and all, but still that's a seven cost card. Sometimes all you need is a crushing blow to get that winning blow, or sometimes all you need is to have Dawnbreaker just to push ahead. But I'm not going to call him out yet, you know? Who knows what he might get from Prophecy right here. We'll have to see how this all plays out. No Prophecy with the Lightning Bolt for the finish! Oh my god! Look at that! That match was excellent. Good game, guys. Good game. Ooh, I love that, guys. I'm glad that I... I see, that's why I'm kind of glad I can't see you guys hell hand because it makes it much more interesting for me. It makes my commentary a little bit more fun because I can't predict whatever you guys are say. I really try to avoid seeing what card you draw as well. I'm looking away from that. So there you go, guys. That was the first match. Let's pause for a, a second and update the brackets and have the next match start up. All right, let's go update it. All right, guys, we have gone ahead and updated the tournament. Um, there we go. Hi, Cat Dylan has advanced, and we're now we're going to be spectating Andy's mod and Seven Cole. Let's go ahead and jump into the match. I'm going to give them a few seconds because I don't want to see what the first few cards are. I'm going to spectate from Andy's mod uh, point of view. So there we go. Let's get rid of the brackets off the screen. Let me put back up my barrier so I can't see the cards. I was not looking, so I don't know. In fact, I don't even know what type of deck he's running. I'm going to have to find out. So I see Endurance creatures, so could be a scout deck. I'm going to have to find out. Fortunately, I've noticed the freaking uh, first card. So that sucks. But I sh I'm going to try again to not notice or not see them really. But just going to have to be it is. Unfortunately, we don't have a full tournament mode in the Elder Scrolls Legends yet. I can't wait for there to be a full tournament mode. So this is a little bit more interesting for me. So the first move is coming from Andy's mod. On the left side, he is running 
the classic everybody knows it and wants it <laughs> when it works and that is <laughs> thieves guild recruit so hopefully it got a card cost down then on uh, we have a guard facing that so that's a good guard to play right now on turn three so we've missed a little bit of the beginning of the match, but I think that's fine. And we'll see how this one plays out. So we got Murkwater Witch. Actually, I shouldn't say anything yet. In play. Right, people are texting me right now, but I can't pay attention to that. We're going to play attention to this match. Oh, Wardcrafter coming out, protecting the guard. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. In fact, this is a great feel right now. 7X Cole is just looking really nice right now. I can't really say he's playing a control mage, in fact. I mean, there are some elements of control in here, but I wouldn't directly say this is a control deck. But here we go. Andy Smile is going to try to respond the best as he possibly can. He breaks the Ring of Magicka. Plays out Woodland Lookout, so he definitely is going to have dragons in his deck. So we're going to have to see how this all plays out. Let's see if I can't cut down my thing that I made in Photoshop so it actually shows you guys how much uh, Magicka Andy has. Let's do this. Definitely Ram Scout versus probably Control Mage. It could be Control Mage. Like, it could be just... It, it doesn't have to be Control Mage for... with the cards he has. But it definitely has elements of Control. It probably is Control Mage, but I'll find out after the match. It's Ramp, of course. It's Scout at this point. There's no question about that. But unfortunately, Andy hasn't Ramped at all. And not ramping really could hurt him. But that was a very smart, smart um, move right there with Sharepoint Dragon. He, if he controls the field, he is in a good situation. Um, there was a time when, you know, Control Mage was a good matchup against Scout. But right now, Scout is such a dominant... Ram Scout is such a dominant force that even if he's Control Mage, he might not be able to do enough damage to really take out this Scout. Scout could with... It, it could endure pretty well. Cards like, you know, Sheerpoint Dragon, cards like Woodland Lookout, gaining that little bit of health will just keep this car, this this match long lasting long enough till you could start recycling with Parthenax. We'll see how this one runs out, but it was a good start by Seven Cole, but in fact, with Scout decks, especially Ramp, the longer the match goes, it's just the more interesting it's going to end up being. But Gold, Gold Ramp! Oh, Bran, okay. Not a card I was expecting, but this is what I love about watching other people play the matches. Now I'm thinking, like, could it possibly? Maybe this deck actually has something like Cloudrun Keeper, Tower Alchemist? I doubt it does. I haven't seen anything other than support Elixir card cards, but it would be interesting to see that being played. I would be kind of surprised, but Gold Bran with the right cards can really be a really devastating Thing for the field, but right now with Woodland Lookout on the field right now, I will try to get rid of that as soon as possible. Crushing blow onto throwing his mage so we get rid of that. Okay, trying to keep up. So as a mage right now, mages don't want to run out of cards, but in this situation, it's looking really darn bad. But looks like we have Andy's mod pumping magical once again with <laughs> the late game magical pump. So like. Unfortunately, as much as he has the health gain, the health uh, advantage right now, 7 coal, it just might not be enough. It really just might not be enough. With three cards in his hand, I'm not counting nobody out yet, but we'll have to wait and see. Support control mage. Yeah, it definitely is control at this point, but I, I, was, I was a little surprised to see the... I, I, I personally don't run Gold Ran in a Control Mage uh, setup. If I'm going to run support, I run directly for those supports. Now, it, the, the, the type of 
control mages that I've seen that work great against Scout is ones that use arrests, ones that steal creatures. Now, we can't say he doesn't use arrests, but he doesn't seem to have that stealing creature set up yet. I mean, Manticora. Even seeing this game played seriously this early is kind of, I think, is a bad move. I don't think that card needed to be played at that specific moment. You could have saved him for uh, bigger creatures that we know are going to come out. Like, we obviously definitely know that he's playing Ramp Dragon, so... I would have saved it for the Sharepoint Dragon or another creature, so right now you're in a situation where pervert, preserve the root. A four-cost creature could definitely destroy a big legendary like that. That's just not, that's a bad trade. Now, I could be wrong. He could have Manticora right now. If he has Manticora, that's a good guess. If he has the Dragonborn. Oh, here we go. The rest has been played. Okay, now I feel like the tides of this match have change. With the rest being in play, this is a situation where... Uh, <laughs> this is a situation where... Now, things are going to get super interesting. This is where I feel like the match could really go for this mage. Because I think a rest mage, being able to steal the creatures away from a scout is one of the most devastating things. Being able to steal Parthenax and then using Dark Rebirth. Being able to use Dark Rebirth to effectively. Being able to use cards that remove Shackle from your own creature it could be super effective. So, it's definitely not over now. Now I see possibilities for this could be go either way. Even with the His Grove in play. With an arrest control mage, his growth sometimes is just not the threat that he normally would be. So I really feel like Andy's mind is going to have to play super smart on what cards he plays out. Now, obviously, X7 Cole is only running one card in his hand at the moment. So we don't know what that one card is, but Andy's mind has to be careful of that. He doesn't want the wrong creatures stolen away. And definitely, sh uh, shackling the opponent creatures right there is a really good move. It silences them, and even he would have to use like Dark Rebirth to get the most value out of them again. We'll see what happens here. See, this is where it gets interesting. This is the type of. The I still, still, like I said, there's just a few. Uh, like so far, I wouldn't, I still wouldn't well, run, uh, gold brand in the build. But I don't know. Maybe uh, just, just as me. But that was a good little move right there, using house uh, the Carl right there. Now you're gonna get a uh, good guard. Andy's mind responds with a shadow priestess. Nicely done. He should trade with preserve the root. That's what I would do right there. Remove the guard on the right side. Yeah. Now he's looking pretty good right now with no cards in hand for 7x. It really looks like Andy's game, even though he has less health. Lovely, lovely move right there with another sheer point dragon. Too bad he doesn't have a, a woodland lookout in play right now. Awesome! The Dark Guardian. Great play of Dark Guardian. Excellent guard right there. Woo, and we have not even seen any shouts being played other than Drain Vitality. We have not seen uh, even one recycling of the graveyard for a scout deck. So all those are still ready to come, guys. This match is getting fun. This is definitely getting to be a really fun match. Let's see where it goes from here, guys. Uh, Shrieking Harpy definitely could help, but it would be awesome to get that as a prophecy. That's what most of us as players really want to do. We're going to get that as a prophecy and play from there. And see how this one plays out for the rest of this. Your storm is no the match for mine. Ooh, this hurts. This hurt. That hurts. I know it hurts. So he could start going on an assault, but he waits until he can actually use the big old dragon. So prophecy's no problem. So Soul Tear has not even been played yet. We have not even seen Parthenax. The arrest, but he does not have the Dark Rebirth to take effect out of it. Oh, it's, it's one of the it's one of the most painful things to see in this game when you could arrest it, but you don't have the Dark Rebirth to take effect out of because effect happened twice. And even with Dark Rebirth, it really wouldn't have been enough to kill off his monsters. Now, it would have killed the majority. It would have saved them the victory. Now, he has to get a good guard, but he needs to get another prophecy. He needs another prophecy right now to have any chance of winning this match, but unfortunately, it doesn't come, and Andy's mod pokes out the victory. Inches out, yo, I love myself a control mage deck, and I just think that was really fun. Good game, guys. Really good game. So if you guys haven't seen my uh, version of Rest Control, like that's very similar, but a few other things. You don't run Dark Rebirth? Oh, 7X Cole, yes, run Dark Rebirth. 
when you have a chance to update the deck um, after the tournament, definitely run in Dark Rebirth. Like, first of all, let's just, let's just, um, before we move on and update the bracket, let's, all right, no, let me update the brackets real quickly so we could have our winner. So if everybody on YouTube, we'll be right back and update the bracket. All right, we're back, guys. The, the tournament brackets have been updated. Right now, the next match is going to call me mute and hi, Cat Dylan. Can you guys please go ahead and start your match in game? So right now, we are waiting to see. Call me mute. I'm just saying, guys can start. So once they start their match, I will start spectating so we can see. So wait for these two guys to start the match. We'll spectate it and go from there. All right, guys. So let me take off the brackets off screen. Let everybody say, you're ready? You're going down mute. Woo! <laughs> it's getting spicy in chat, guys. All right, they have started their matches. I'm a, I let them get a few seconds to get their hands. I'm sorry. I just I want to be surprised. I, I think it's my commentary is more surprised when I don't see anything. I know that might be a little sucky that you guys have to see the not get to see the first cards get picked. Let me put up the um the barriers so I can't look at what cards they're drawing. In fact, actually, let me see if I can't make it. Yeah, we're gonna keep it as I'm gonna make something better for this later on. All right, guys. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna spectate on call me mute. I'm um, so in case they're still drawing cards. They're not, so I don't know what type of cards I have. So only thing I know right now, guys, is that we have a profiteer on the field and we have ourselves an attack. So we have an assassin. I don't even know what type of deck side. call me mute is playing. Other than no, he's running willpower. It looks like a very good start from um, High Cat Dylan, aka Daily Pick. Ooh, okay. So we have a monk deck moving into the left lane. Good trade right there. So he's gonna be able to keep getting health. Now, it'd be interesting. Is uh, is this his assassin that's gonna be Did super aggro? We're gonna have to wait and see. Okay, we're gonna see how this one plays they out. Catapuses have been played. Ward Crafter. Ward Crafter right there seems pretty good. Now, how does he respond? I actually could have technically joined the tournament, but I just wanted to watch you guys play instead of me joining it. <laughs> After the tournament, we will announce the winner of the 10 packs. All right, guys? So, unfortunately, the winner is not going to get the 10 packs, but I will announce the winner of who actually gets the 10 Elder Scrolls Legends Heroes of Skyrim packs. So that would be a little... Okay, so I don't think these Den right here was the best move, but I don't see his hands at the moment, so I just gotta take it for what it is. If that was the only move to play, that might have been. But then again, he's playing Monk. We could play a Master of Thieves. There could be True Strike. He could build up enough damage quick enough to win the game. You just got to be able to have the cards. If he has two Masters of Thieves in his hands, or if he has cards to gain health, then taking some damage early game might be okay. Because being at 25 health is not the worst thing ever for a Monk. And depending on how many prophecies he's running, if he gets a uh, didn't see this coming, eh? Pearson Javelin, nope, no prophecy there. I mean, look, at Daily Pick is just gonna go. Dylan's just gonna go aggressive right here. Those fireballs. That literally just might be game. That that just that could be it right here. I don't know how does this monk. Uh, there are ways to do it, but I'm gonna say, does he have the guard to do it? A Hive Defender with another guard just would be great in the right lane. It would be excellent right now. Hive Defender would be able to take care of Catapus. I don't, if you have a... Mm, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure what you're going to do here. This might be a Dara situation. It just looks like... My mod in a daily pick came out with the great starting hand. <laughs> And sometimes that's all it is. I, I just felt like the, the only mistake I saw so far was uh, Thieves' Den. I just didn't feel like that was the right play. I understand why you did it, but you, you must have had other cards you could have played in that situation. Let's see what people are saying in chat. I wish I drew my three three Hive Defenders. One of those is like my only premium card. <laughs> 
I have a copy of Dark Brotherhood expansion that I'm giving away, giving to Beacon to use as a prize in the future. Oh yeah, guys! Once we have an official tournament mode, I really want to do the prize, uh, the Dark Brotherhood giveaway. I just can't wait for it. I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun once we have an official tournament mode to do this. I hope I, but I hope Andy wins. Oh, we got somebody rooting for Andy right now. So we have, I think also, it's not that playing in the right, the Shadowlands is a horrible move. Yeah, I guess playing in the Shadowlands the situation is the best move. But you really need to get lucky with a Prophecy at this point. This is the, this is the moment in Legendary where Prophecies are so key. Without Prophecy, without getting a Prophecy, the Mudcrab! We saw it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is the moment he comes back. We know it. We love memes here. We love those cards that really should not be played. If there's any hope for him getting the prophecy, it's the mud crab doing it. Oh, Lix Vitality. A support. Okay, here we go. Mud crab brings the prophecy, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. He's negated some damage. He's still very vulnerable in the left lane. Do not think to sneak by me. Ooh, okay. Let's see. I mean, there's lethal in the left lane. Can this be a comeback? Thank you guys for the follows. Ram scout for the win. Uh, right now, it seems like my mods are doing fairly well for themselves. Health gain. The two health doesn't hurt, but it can't really pull out for the win. This game, we need a big guard. We need a big guard in play to really just negate some damage. That's the best thing you could do. In fact, even attacking right now would be a mistake if it breaks our room. I'm really rooting right now for Call Me Out to pull off something that I'm, I'm not expecting. Some kind of guard that I don't expect seeing. But maybe, maybe just not. It's not possible. I could be completely wrong. All right, right now, big guard or piercing javelin would be bad. He could piercing. Well, no, a piercing javelin. Yeah, piercing javelin. Take out one of the creatures on the left side. Use the health gain to gain some health back or. A hive defender right now and the health gain could get let you survive for one more turn. You attack once, power up a little bit. I'm not sure where it's gonna go, guys. Okay, so he has uh, okay, so he does the piercing javelin. So now it's all on luck. I don't know how this goes from here. Do not think to snake by me. If um Your blood will if, spill. if he has a lightning bolt, that's game. Viper? Viper with a dagger! No! No! That's just like mean. The dude brought out a Viper with a dagger. Like, a poisonous Viper wasn't horrible enough. He brought out the dagger. Ooh, good match, guys. Let's go ahead and, uh, <laughs> and update the brackets right there. Good game, good game. So I could take off the black bar. Uh, wow, that was, that was fun, guys. I love watching you guys play. The Viper King. <laughs> can you imagine a phone? Can you imagine a snake rolling rolling up on you holding a knife? That's what basically just happened. Uh, like a snake with this poisonous fang rolls up with you and said that and just like starts shh, I'm gonna stop you. <laughs> That's what I envision happening right there. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the brackets real quick, guys. Let me zoom on over and show you guys a big style. Alright. So I do want to apologize, guys, that eventually I will need to get some type of Skyrim stuff in the background. Sooner or later, I need to do that. <laughs> With you guys donating and giving me the chairs, once I ever... It takes three months for you, uh, Twitch to pay out anything, but definitely once I get a good payout from Twitch, I'm going to buy some type of collectible for Skyrim or Elder Scrolls Legends and have it in the background because it needs to be there. I have so much Fallout stuff. All right, let's go ahead and update the brackets and decide the winner submit all right there you go so we have the loser brackets on um, being updated 
But let's keep on going right now. The next game is going to be Andy's Mod and CV... C Vanguard. So C Vanguard and Andy's mod get you guys ready. We're gonna pause real quick for everybody on YouTube and get that set up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. They have started their match. We got C Vanguard and we have Andy's mod. So we're gonna go from the perspective of C Vanguard because we've seen Andy's mod or uh, no, we'll go from Andy's mod because we already have a concept of what he is playing. So we'll go from his point of view. Let's get in there. Let's put on the barrier. Okay, there we go. I can't see any of his cards. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves. Steve Vanguard is playing a scout. Now, Andy was playing a scout before, so I'm. he's going to be playing scout v. scout. He plays starting out. We have a Thieves Guild recruit on the field against a Darren Catapus. If I'm saying that correctly, probably not. But either ways, we know what Catapuses do. It's going to go try to get powered up. It looks like we're going to have a little bit more of an aggressive early start for these scout matches coming from C Vanguard. I don't play. I don't blame him at all. It's a smart move, especially with the whole entire situation we saw before from Andy. So in this situation, I would I would trade with High yep, Dark Guardian, then break the rune. Hoping for that he gets the Prophecy, but who knows if Andy's even playing Prophecies in his deck. Utter Cancer. We're getting Utter Cancer in chat for Scouts. Scout v. Scout, man. The new meta. The new Elder Scrolls top tier meta. Scout v. Scout. Just <laughs> give me a name. Dark Brotherhood Slayer. I don't run Brotherhood Slayer in most of my Scout decks. I just... If it's Ramp Scout. If it's Ramp Scout, I usually... Dragon Ramp Scout, I don't run it. Now, here's where... Let's see what... You must be so... Clear. I understand why he did it. Doesn't mean I don't technically agree with the Shadow Priest right there. But then again, I don't know what his hand is looking like. Maybe um, his hand wasn't ha had enough cards to really counteract that. Maybe he didn't have the uh, preserve the root. Not preserve the root. Yeah. Um, okay. Wow. Okay. Going super aggressive, but as we clearly know, he's already did pump magicka so right now we're getting some more magicka boost and next time guys i'll make sure that you guys can see the magic i'm so sorry that you guys can't see it it's just i technically made the, the little barrier a little crooked in photoshop let me actually i'll see if i can just edit it real quick while on the fly on the fly while the match is happening let's see if we can't do some quick photoshopping it's nothing personal let's see if we can't do some quick photoshopping while i commentate the match at the same exact time so it's looking really good for a C Vanguard, but then again, we have two Preserve the Roots, and that's pretty good. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can't make a little spot for you guys to see the magic. Uh, can you please help me? Of course I'm on your side. Of course I'm on your side. It's nothing personal. All right, guys. This is what's ghetto, but ghetto is as ghetto does, and we're okay with ghetto as long as it gets the job done. So here we go. Hold on, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I'll try it out, and we'll see if we can see the magicka. Hold on, I'm gonna put it down here and get rid of the other one. Can you please help me? Can you please help me? <laughs> So there we go, guys. So now you guys can see the magic account and the the little button. So I just updated it. It's just quick ghetto Photoshop. I will do this until... It's not my fault. Come on. If the game had an official tournament mode, it would make this so much easier for spectating. And if, it's not even that, too. I, I'm not... Um, There's no delay. They wanted me to just do a tournament, and it would be cheating. It would be too easy if I... It, it, well... They wanted it like this, so I'm leaving it. People are here, and if you guys, I'm up, it's up to you guys to not cheat. That's all I'm saying. You guys want a tournament, and you don't want me to stop it to put a delay on it. It's I just got to play. Everybody has the pay system. There's no big prize anyway, so who cares? <laughs> 
Can I just get like one pack if I win? <laughs> just one? <laughs> I can't. It's not me who's giving you guys a pack. It's literally Bethesda. Bethesda is going to actually add the pack to your account. It's AJ, one of the great guys from Bethesda. He's going to actually add a, the packs directly to your account. Get to tournament. Let's put on some great music. <laughs> I would love to put on some music, but I don't want to. I want to upload this on YouTube, so that's why. Scott is easy to. Is okay. That's what I'm saying. So, C Vanguard is looking really good with his health right now, but I'm still not going to count out Andy's mod. It's just not my style. Not with the amount he has bump, pump Magicka. He has enough Magicka that he definitely could possibly make a good comeback. Let's find up the Elder Blood in the left lane. Leaf Lurker. I'm pretty sure Leaf Lurker is going to go face. It's the most. Uh, Just give me a name. Smart move in the situation. You already have the health advantage. Unless he has another leaf lurker in hand. Zumon, take you. No prophecy. Looks like Andy's mod is not running much in the prophecy. The city is safe in my hands. Why? Guys, why? What why did you do that? Why didn't you get I'm so confused. Was that a misplay? Did we just see a misplay Your from C Vanguard? No from oh my god! And then the dragon came ah. out to even make it even oh hurt even more. Oh no, this could be the title turn of the battle right here. The ramp scout might be victorious if everything goes right for Andy's mod. I think we just saw a misplay, guys. Andy, please. Andy. Andy, please win. A lot of them will win a lot. Then we will rematch and I will win <laughs> one HP ultimate comeback. Oh, the magic of pump. Now we got two hiss groves on the field. We are looking at 17 damage on the field from Andy's mod. Not 17. I'm my math was so off. 24. Oh, I'm sorry. We're looking at 20 freaking three damage on the field. 23 damage right here, guys. 23 damage on the field right now from Andy Mods. Not enough to win the game, but definitely could be a problem. Okay, so I don't blame him right here. That's the smartest move. Going to face could really win you this match at this point. Alright, so what does he do? I don't expect Andy's mod to attack at all. Oh, he's using his special... Weapon Shackle. Shackle is one of the greatest things ever in the Elder Scrolls Legends. If your opponent cannot attack you, they cannot win. They would need to have lightning bolts, crushing bolts, or ways to attack from hand to make the match work Can for them. Like it's just me? not gonna work. Now, in most cases, I would say Little Girl is not a bad card to have in a scout deck. But the reason I just don't like Little Girl in most scout decks is just a plain and simple fact. <sighs> If it gets silenced and you have to go ahead and get it back from the graveyard with Soul Tear, it's just a hassle. There's just like so many other, like I think so many better cards and better ways to get health than Little Girl. I would prefer to run Necklace, but I'm not saying that never run Little Girl. I just, I just don't feel like it's worth it. Whoa! It's now hosting you for 719 viewers. Wow. God damn. Thanks, God. Thank you. Wow, I did not expect that. I'm doing a little tournament right now. So let's go ahead and update the bracket, brackets. <laughs> That's a big host, guys. <laughs> okay, so our numbers on the stream is just going to be popping up real quick. So let's go ahead and thank Andy right there for just like doing an entertaining match, if nothing else. So we're about to get really interesting right here, guys. Rip Cole. <laughs> Thanks so much for the host, man. It really is appreciated. Super, super appreciated, bro. If I'm not following you right now, hold on, let me just show out his channel in chat. Go check him out. 
Hold on, let me link to his channel real quick, guys. Hold on. Um, follow. Oops, sorry. There you go. Let's put it in there a few times so people don't miss it. There you go. Go follow him. Thank him for the host. Really do appreciate that. All right, let's update the brackets for this little mini tournament we're doing right now for fun. And have some fun. So Andy Mods continue submit score. So right now the next match is going to be High Cat Dylan versus Andy's Mod. My two mods, both my top mods, are going to face to see who's the better mod, because this decides it. Whoever wins decides it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the next match. So Andy's mod and Hi Cat Dylan, go ahead and start your match. Thank you guys for the follow. I much appreciate it. Thank you everybody who's just joining me right now from the host. What we're doing right now, we're doing a little viewer tournament. I'm a community streamer. I'm an entertainment streamer. What that means is that my streams are focused around you guys, talking with you guys. It's not going on rank and ranking up. I'm here to have fun with you guys, talk with you guys, uh, add you, add menu you guys on my friend list, and have tournaments with you guys. So right now, I'm just waiting for Dylan and Andy to start their match, and then we're going to go ahead and spectate it off the bat. So let's just wait for that, and we'll go from there. So let's just pause for YouTube until they start about that. Because I don't want, they already got their cards. Let me cover up so I don't see what cards they have. There we go. All right, guys. So we're doing a loser bracket after. It doesn't really matter because technically they're just going to know who they're going to face in the final. How do you get, it already started. Um, Here's a link for the brackets for everybody who wants to see what's going on so far. So there's a link to the tournament right now. So we have... Andy's mod, who I'm spectating right now, versus Dylan. So my two top mods made it to the finals. That is so funny. That is legitimately funny right now. So the link is in the chat to the brackets. Let's see how this plays out. So we have a interesting start right here. It's a very standard issue one, in a sense, coming from an assassin Careful playing the there, goblin. Friend. Oh, good little play right there, Ward Crafter. So right now, can't do anything. Drain Vitality, excellent. Excellent move coming from Andy. I'm gonna try to keep up to what you guys are saying in chat, but please make sure you at me if you're trying to talk to me directly so I can see your message. Look to the skies. All right. Salt. <laughs> Woodland Lookout has come into play. How will Andy's mod respond? Okay, going going aggressive right there with the charge giant bat is a smart move. Plain and simple fact, getting rid of that goblin is just a good move because if it's going to be Do pulling out more goblins on um, curses, close call. Because I run, I've run certain decks with close call. You never know. He could. Uh, we know he's not, but at this point, you, you never know what your opponent might be playing if it's the first time facing them. What if they're playing something like Goblin into Swindler's Market, you know? Do not think to snake by Going you. face. Does he get a Prophecy? No. We already see that Andy's mod is not running much Prophecies in his deck. So maybe going really aggressive coming from <laughs> Dylan might work out. It just might. So who does he trade with? Okay. Mmm. Okay. All right. I, I, I like the move right there. Definitely playing Woodland Lookout might be the key card to actually success. Him gaining health is going to be key to him trying to survive. Scout decks play the long game, and if he's going to die soon, it's not going to really work out real well. And because he has a hit attack twice... Oh, we got the Firebolt to clear. His Grove. Oh. 
Of course. We, I'm actually, no, you guys didn't. Nobody missed out on the tor the giveaway. The giveaway is still active. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, you have until the end of the tournament. We have 21. Let me see how many people. We have 17 people entered it in the giveaway. To give to enter the giveaway, you have to be on desktop though. You can't be on mobile. There's a little. You click on the the Twitch um stream. There's a little thing that pops up and says enter the giveaway and you giveaway. There's seven. There's only 17 people entered right now while I have over 370 something people watching me. So yeah. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, you need to watch on desktop, not mobile. I can't set up giveaways for mobile, unfortunately, so I do apologize for that. I'm entering. Okay, great. So after at the end of this tournament, I'm going to pick the winner. And then um, it's going to be Bethesda who sends you the pack, guys. It's not me. Bethesda is going to add it to your accounts. Actually, you're, you're not even going to get sent a code. They're literally... Bethesda is going to enter a code directly into your account. You're just going to come, you're going to open up Legends one day and you're just going to have 10 extra packs. That's how it's going to happen. I would protect the face. <laughs> it's just going to end up like, hey, I got I got some more packs. Awesome. <laughs> so, great. All right. So, let's go ahead. I'll tell you. Yeah, but like 200 to other AFKs. Yeah, I mean, I can't do anything about the AFKers. That, that's legends right now. There's always people who are just here for drops. And I'm not I'm not getting bad. I'm not one of those. I am not a high and mighty Twitch streamer. I'm not better than nobody. If you just want to watch for drops, that's fine. I'm not going to tell you. I want more people playing legends. And if drops make people play legend, that's fine. Let's not get into the drop stuff. Let's not get into that kind of some, somewhat concert. Let's enjoy what we're doing right now in this tournament. Let's have fun. That's what we're here to do. For the people who's interacting, chatting, Whatever enjoy the match. If people want to be AFK, let them be AFK. So this is a time when Andy's mod could possibly come back and try to gain some health because it's not looking too bad for him in the sense he has enough cards. Unfortunately, Pick ran out of cards, which definitely does suck. Woo, woo. I love getting wrecked by Scout. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's going to be... Oh, no. I'm sorry, guys. If we really do see Scout win in this tournament, I'm so sorry. I didn't... It's just... It's... <laughs> oh, that might be a sign. That just might be a sign. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm not saying I don't want you to win, Andy. I'm not going against you. Whoever win, whoever win. If it is, I'm just saying that it's gonna be funny if it is Ramp Dragon Your Scout. No, don't forfeit. He gave it. <laughs> oh my God, we have somebody going to the finals. I hate Andy's mouth. Scout sucks. <laughs> Oh, oh god, that was amazing. Good game, guys. Good game. I I accidentally clicked the thing to uh to to freaking cheer my own screen stream <laughs> right there. Hey, if nothing else, I'm gonna give a big shout out to uh, High Cat Dylan. He has been my top chairer. Let's share what his uh top chair comment actually was. So. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about this, but this was his top chair comment. <laughs> on mod Andy. On mod Andy. Ch Andy's a cheer. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are the best. You guys make this so much fun. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and update the brackets real quick. <laughs> and then we're getting to the loser brackets. All right. So let's go ahead and pop that up. Right here. And we click on Andy. Good work. Submit. Right there in the final. So next match is going to be the one true Tim and Vanguard. They're going to have their match up next in the loser brackets. Let's see how that plays out. So let's get into the game. We'll wait till they go ahead and start up. I love you, Andy. <laughs> All right, um, the one true Tim, let me just mess him. you and is C Vanguard still here? Vanguard, you need to still be here to go ahead and participate. If not, I will give him a few seconds. I'm going to look in chat.
All right, guys. So everybody in YouTube, we're gonna pause for a moment for that and wait for them to join and we'll continue. All right, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the C Vanguard signed off. He didn't want to participate. So one true Tim uh, goes ahead and advances by default. And he's gonna be going ahead and facing either, we'll see the next map. But before we go ahead and move on, just to keep the tournament interesting, I'm going to go ahead and have a quick little fun match with the One True Tim. Just in, in the place of see Vanguard guy seeing a match. I'm not sure which deck I'm going to use. Let's go ahead with... Let's go ahead with something. I, actually, I, I told everybody to use their best decks. I told them to use their best. This is my best deck, whether I want to admit it or not, it is my best deck. Let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to use what I consider my best deck, not because it's the best deck in the game. It's because it's a deck that I'm most proficient with and I know the most. It's a deck that I played the most with. It's a deck that brings me to the to ladder every month. It's a deck that I could play the best with in the game. And that's what considers the, my best deck. It doesn't mean that's the best deck or legendary deck or the best deck for anybody else. It's definitely the best deck I've ever made for myself. Because it just works so well for me. Alright, let's go. Bad start for me. Good start. Be welcome. Not good. Now obviously guys I am streaming this. Anybody could just look. I'm Your just I'm just counting on one shoot him to not Your watch order. Twitter. Your order. Ah, so I have people actually spectating me right now. It's always funny. I always have people spectating my matches. Lead me into battle. Into the breach. Right, let's get back into the match. You get one shot. shot. Make it good. <laughs> Tim is totally looking. That's dirty. It's all right. Trust me. He doesn't even look to win on this one. The Dark Brotherhood Things are not going my way I can see right now. This should be good. Okay. I hear and obey. So little time. time. Hey, give me my card back. The longer the the bastard. The bastard stole my card. Not sorry. We stand united. The day is mine. Right behind you. Okay, guys. It's a bad start, but I know my deck. Chimera, guide us. Too late for you. Khajiit is having a good night. Mm. I hear and obey. Really would be nice if I got a damn prophecy, you know. Nice if I got a prophecy there. We need a prophecy to get any real chance of this right now, guys. Alright, so let's just do. Oh, 
Close ranks, let nothing through. Come at me. Come at me. So many purses, so little time. Stealing my card sucks. Close ranks, let nothing through. No, I hear uh, it's just not what I want, but it's okay. I'm not gonna do that. They will pay the blood price. <laughs> I'm ready for anything. Come at me! Good, good game. <laughs> I just got them too early. I got them too early. Good game. The priest to take this. The ape protect us! Khajiit is having a good night. Come on! I have prophecies in this deck! What is going on right now? Unbelievable. I think that's game. Yeah, that's game. Hold on, let's just see Been what I get. Alright, uh, maybe not. It's not over till it's over, is it? Let's see. Wait, um... Yeah, it's not over till it's over. So, we need to do... You get one shot. So that's one, Make two, it three, good. four, five. Let's kill her. Come at me! Scorch stump it! I got your and glory! <sighs> Took too long to get to be able to go aggressive. This is why you don't use a, the counterfeit token at the wrong time. Nicely done. Nothing. Good move, man. Good move. You have my thanks. Good move. Could attack. Could have. Could have powered up some more, but too bad. I thought. I like that. <laughs> Ricky Wreck Wreck. <laughs> Good game. The tokens beat out my orcs. I got I took I got the cliff uh the banners a little too early. I got three of them. That's one of the biggest downfall. If you get the banners too early, it's just not gonna be able to work. Great it's great to have them, but you don't use I usually don't want to have all three of them early. Definitely not. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into the next Looter Bracket match. I'm sorry I took up some of you guys' time, but I hope that was still fun for you guys to see. Alright, guys, so we're going to be looking at a match between 7 X Cole and Call Me Mute. Let's take a look at 7X. Let me go ahead and put up my little barrier so I don't see what cards he... Ah, man. Unfortunately, I saw his first hand. It was a little too early. Couldn't do anything about it. I'm real for, for, forgetful, so... In a few seconds, you guys will start me out hearing me referencing stuff I shouldn't even know. Joined a little too early. But I won't spoil anything for chat, even though there's slightly a delay. Beaky loves the game show host aspect or... Wait. Beaky love the game there's show aspect or you're hosting. What do you mean? Is that a question or are you saying that you love the game show aspect or you're hosting? I'm not sure what exactly you mean by the way you word that. Or that. Let's shed some light on the problem. Good luck, guys. Remember, because <laughs> Dilly lost so hard, which every one of you guys win comes second. Oh, love the hosting. Thank you, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about the hosting. So, right now we have a good situation coming at 
7x coal. I'm just going to call you coal 7x. I think 7x sounds cool. With the firebolt in hand and the profiteer on the other side. The profiteer only has two health. Profiteer is one of those creatures the opponent wants to uh, protect. But right now, we know for a fact that, you know, he has a firebolt. So the question is, does he use the firebolt for profiteer? In my case, I would use the firebolt on profiteer. Why would I do that? Profiteer is one of those cards you just want to get rid of. You don't want your opponent to constantly gain health over and over from just summoning monsters. Just get rid of it, get it out of the way, and just go from there. But, oh man, the great standard play after that is High Defender. That Crushing Blow and the Fireball definitely could have helped with that, especially the Crushing Blow. So here's a situation where he's going to have to get rid of the, nice the High try. Defender to go again. in one of two ways. Does he attack it? Does he hope he gets a Piercing Javelin? He could be running a Piercing Javelin in his hand. Um, wins this day. Like I said, I'll forget... I, no, let's not even go back to what I was having for. Oh, here we go. Move into Shadows. Amazing move right there. You got yourself now. High Defender is a lethal threat. Now this card needs to be taken out. Now is where we have a situation that 7x is definitely my regret not attacking. Like he, I, ooh, that's just like feels bad, bro. Feels bad. <laughs> feels bad, bro. Well, one of the great cards for him has been taken out. 7x C O L E. So how does Cole respond to the Hive Defender? What I would personally do, sorry about that, um, is hope I'm running Arrest right now, Paris and Javelin, or have my own Hive Defender just put out there as a guard. But Dark Reaper, see the, the one thing about working with Dark Rebirth is that it's gonna come back weaker. But if you work, if you're running a card like Death Regen, then it might work out. Yeah, definitely don't attack. There's no reason to attack this at this moment. Attacking here will only put you in a disadvantage. You don't want to give your opponent. Oh, another high defender. High defender is such a good. Oh, shit. Somebody's calling me. Yo. Oh, yeah. Shit. I'm, doing, I'm hosting a tournament on Twitch with like 365 people right now. I can't, I can't literally pull over to get it. And I don't even think there's anywhere for you to park. Um, I'll just come get it from you tomorrow, all right? You going, you going in or no? Well, put like this. When you're leaving, just let me know. And then when you're driving past me, I'll just come and grab it, all right? Yeah, because if there was somewhere you could park, I would come get it from you. But there really isn't, all right? All right, sorry about that, guys. My friend has my glasses. I, I was hanging out with my friend yesterday, and I left it there. He uh, just coming from work. He's going to give it to me. And, um, like, there's no parking right now, so... And I can't get up to go get it because I don't want to stop the tournament to go outside. So I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for y'all. <laughs> Man, like, we need to respect High Defender more. It's just an amazingly good card. Lovely, lovely. Oh my god, I loved everything about that. That was amazing. This one, friend. No, <laughs> friend. <laughs> Yo, Twitch is the. You guys are the funniest motherfuckers in the world, guys. I love being alone, Twitch. You guys are the best. You are too funny, son. <laughs> it's your mom. <laughs> Where my mom is probably in sleep right now, knocked out. It's not my mom. No, I, well, I definitely. And you guys didn't see my last tournament, my last video, my last stream yesterday. Literally, I was streaming from mobile. I was streaming on mobile, um, with my friend. Like this, this legitimately proof. Like I was, had left my glasses during the stream, which everyone was asking. Me, I took off my glasses and I left it on the desk and I went home and I forgot the damn glasses. <laughs> Oh, you guys are hilarious, man. Hilarious. Correction, I'm the best. Knocked out, hey. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. I don't even know what's happening here now. Well, we're going to see a master of the... Uh, I, yeah, man. I just don't understand the play of playing Thieves' Den by itself. 
I have many important things on my mind. I don't blame you for doing this. If you could make a push, it could actually make you win. So Cole, I definitely don't blame you for doing this one. If he has a Dragonborn, you are wrecked right now. Golden scenes are going to be a problem just because of the fact that there are two guards in both lanes. Wow, that removability was lovely. Lovely right there, guys. I'm glad that you guys asked for a tournament. This was a lot of fun. This definitely was a lot of fun. Oh, Test Cat. The pack master's out. Definitely a dangerous card at the moment. How does he respond to this? Could be a guard. Could be a lot of things. He's playing mage. He chooses for Manticora. Manticore is not a bad move because it still gives you a guard on the field. And maybe getting Manticore in place could help him win. But the Piercing Javelin hurts. And if Call Me Mute has a... Oh my god! The Viper once the twice in the same tournament. We see the Viper come out for the victory. First we saw a Viper holding a dagger. Then we just saw a regular Viper. The snakes are dangerous. Hey, what's up, Acid? Oh, I said Acid. Uh, oh, it is Acid, isn't it? Let me, let me see. Acid. Yeah, it is Acid. Acid X71. What's up, man? Doing a little tournament right now with chat. Thank you for ch jumping in. Because the D was capitalized, it made me rethink that for a second. Viper beat me and won the, with the Viper. <laughs> Good game, guys. Good game. So let's update the brackets and move on to the next match. All right, let's take a look at that. So for everybody just jumping in right quick, let's take a look at once again at the bracket so far at all the participants. I really want to thank everybody who has come out. So here we are. If you guys want to link to this yourself, I'll post it in chat. So here's a link to the brackets and the tournament setup real quick. All right, so let's click on call me mute and X7. So that one was won by uh, call me mute. Call me mute one, right? Just make sure. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was. I'm sorry, I just like got a little confused right there for a second, but he did. It was X7 I was watching. No, I won't. Wait. Oops, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, uh, 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 uh. I will adjust. All right, I was like, wait, I was just like thinking about. It. There we go. Hold on. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. <laughs> win oh, okay i was gonna say like wait she caught me for a second then <laughs> i was like wait i'm pretty sure it was called me that one <laughs> you know i don't care though it's all fun either way i fixed it it's right <laughs> all right next match is between one true tim and call me mute so let me let these guys know they can start their match you and call me mute can start <laughs> all right once they start their match we'll spectate and see how that goes there's a play all right there's ladies and gentlemen match has started we see two profiteers we're watching call me mute and Tim. the one true remember he is the one true Tim there are no other Tims like him. Really aggressive start from one true Tim. Profiteer on the field 
Looking at two Imperial Grunts and Priest of the Eight. Bunch of HP off the bat. Can this Pillifer deck overcome this? The forest is my strength and my courage. We've already seen the power of his really, I'm not, I'm seriously saying that off the bat, really, really powerful guards. That was the smartest move he could possibly do by doing the Profiteer to attack the Grunt. You need to do that because of the fact that if on the turn three, he goes ahead and plays out something like the Tiger, you know, Pit, not Tiger, Pit Lion. But either way, he goes for Imperial Reinforcement, Tim, gaining a massive amount of health from Profiteer. Profiteer is such a big problem. Does he go aggressive? Or he, oh, yeah, he saves it. He doesn't feel like it's safe right now to trade. Maybe he uh, will get a prophecy piercing javelin, which you definitely don't want to see. I don't blame anybody for doing that. Oh no, I didn't take no offense by what you're saying, man. It's it's all good. It's all good, guys. <laughs> Needs coin. Hey, this one will spoil my plan. Okay, so will Master Thieves be enough? Now, like I said, do not underestimate a Master Thief and Thieves Den with the right cards and a swift strike. It could really be the deciding factor some games. But imprison! The imprison, so no, we will not be seeing it ladies and gentlemen we will not be seeing it at thieves den if i see a thieves den next turn i'll be surprised imperial grunts going in the pearson javelin let's see if i'm correct is it javelin nope it's black stat protector good play placing in the left lane lane forcing his opponent to stop his assault good play right there drain vitality <laughs> He really needs to control. Call me mute. Really needs to control this. Thank you so much for the follow, guys. Really need to get out of control the feel at this moment. You hide the discard pile button. Yeah, guys, this, this setup is really crap. It was last minute uh, together. Yeah, sorry, guys. For anybody who's joining the stream, this was not an official tournament. Everybody in chat just wanted me to do a tournament, just have some fun. So I just do it together. Really fun to do it. It's not nothing I'm going to say is professionally done in any way possible. <laughs> Chimera, guide us. Chimera, guide us. Alright. There's a plan. There's all Keep at it, guys. Plan. Keep at it. Lead me into battle. Yeah, I didn't want to have to add a significant delay to it. Um, from from my understanding, the only people who could add delays to this stream on Twitch while the stream is Twitch partners. People who are actually official, like, you know, big partners on Twitch. I am not a big partner on Twitch, so I don't have that feature to Twitch. I got to do it through my program. My program, I need to restart the stream to do it. Kajit will find a way in. Take you so to much you. health. Oh, that hurts so bad. The burglar, the burglar's gone. So Profiteer's gonna start making his onslaught right here. It looks like we have the one true Tim is in such a good position feel-wise. Like he's just owning everything. But if he gets another Dream Vitality, that might oh, there we go. That field advantage is about to change. Everybody's neutral. And now we have Serpent on the field. Best of one. It's, everything's best of one. It would just take too long, best of three. What the amount of people are we? I would prefer to start another game, another tournament before I do that. But this is the loser bracket. Here, for anybody who wants to see the, the brackets, here are the brackets. We were pretty advanced in the bracket already, guys. We already have people going to the final. Shall we put in a dishonest day's work? Shall we put in a dishonest day's work? It's not over yet, but the 40 health is going to be hard to jump so down. Purses, so little time. We'll hold, no matter what. The eight protect us. 
Our uh, priest of the eight. All right, guys. Even with the health gain right now, it's still kind of tricky. There are ill winds. Oh, lovely done doing smuggler right here. Moving into the left lane, powering up, gaining three health, gaining another five health. 16 damage that is more than the one true Tim could take out right now one true trim has Tim on the field right now Showing has 12 damage. It's just not enough No 13 I'm sorry preset 8 is 2 damage so it's 13 damage on the field from one true Tim now Does one true Tim have the extra little boost to power everybody else up? We'll have to see next turn soul marshal by your command Soul Marshal is not a card I play mostly these days, but I don't mind seeing it in a Pillifer deck. If there's any deck that could use that quite effective, it would be a deck like that. Alright, we're moving the health gain. Smart. Lead me into battle. Alright, let's see what happens here. I expect Soul Marshal to trade with Golden Saint. Oh, no. Viper comes out. Chaos. He survives to live another turn. Okay, he's hanging on. Call Me Mute is not quitting, not giving up, and I don't blame him. Don't blame me one a bit. Chimera, Divine favor. It's such a close game. This is where crushing blows and these little cards like that will come in so handy. The piercing javelin is excellent right there. Killing increase of the eight would be very great. No, but. How will he go for the victory? Lead me into battle. Oh, it's Call Me Mute Lead running me into Dawn's Wrath. Lead Dawn's Wrath will be able to clear, take Lead care of the whole entire battle. right lane. Or the big old dragon we all love. This might be game, or it might still be playable. Let's find out right now. Call of Valor might have just won this. What do you guys think? Do he, does he run Dawn's Wrath? Oh, hurting himself for that one draw. Shadow Shift. Drawing out everything out of his deck. He's going for the love. Dawn's Wrath. Dawn's Wrath. Is it coming? Did I say it wrong? Dawn's Wrath? Oh, what the hell you is the name of the game? Oh, Wrath. Um, I'm a mad, um, a mad lover. Let me see. Did I say the name wrong with Vampire Dawn? It is called Dawn's Wrath, right? <laughs> I'll be a fool if I've been saying that thing wrong all this damn time. I know it's not Divine's Wrath. Good game, guys. Yeah, it's Dawn's Wrath. Dawn's Wrath is this card. I'll show you guys on the stream. It's this card. Yeah, Dawn's Wrath. Dawn's Wrath. Yeah, it destroys an entire lane. That would have been the only card. Not the only card, because look, the only the cards that could have. It wouldn't have been enough by itself. Like the blast would have helped in the situation as well, but blast wouldn't have been enough. But Dawn's Wrath would have been able to take care of that whole entire lane and keep the game going. So, like these are two very great cards against token decks if they're like filling up lanes. Those are really two good cards you can use with willpower against that. But anyways, let's go ahead and update the bracket. That was really fun. Let me pause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's update this right now. Oh, no, no, not yet. <laughs> let's get that magic going, then we'll update it. We're going to have a match between our next two contestants. Let's tell them right now. We have Dylan, you can start versus Tim. So they're going to go ahead and start up and then we'll be on our way. So once I see them in a match, we'll go ahead and spectate. 
All right, there we are. Let's go ahead into One True Tim's. We'll see from One True Tim's point of view. All right, they got to start ahead. That's great. So let's go ahead. So it's turn two. We got a Privateer on the field for One True Tim. Dylan has a Goblin on field. Look he draws Woodland Lookout. Does he have the curse? Yes, he does. Excellent, right there. That takes care of a turn three pit lion. So many purses, so little time. Then we go ahead with stealing cards. We're going real aggressive going from Tim. Attacking right there. So with. Woodland Lookout out. Do we have a turn for Dragon? No, we do not. Do not think a snake bite. Profiteer has been killed. The counterfeit token is in play. Another curse on the Mud Crab. Of course, I'm on your side. Ooh, the traitor. Another goblin. Okay, goblins have come out. So we could we could wait. What's this right here? The unexpected move, I mean, I would have went for Trader, but maybe I'm missing something. I don't know his full hand, so maybe I'm missing something. Not the move I would have made, but that's all. It's just not what I've done right there, man. I would have used it to get the guard, but maybe I'm missing something at the moment. There's a play. And if I am, that's fine. Alright, see, we have Profiteer on the field. Your order. Profiteer Your order. into Your order. three extra health coming right back. Both players have four creatures, but you could say Dylan is looking pretty devastatingly strong with his creatures. Unless Tim is going to be playing out into Didn't a divine favor, coming, eh? it will be interesting. Do not think to snake by me. He's down to 12 health and Dylan's going really aggressive right now. Giant Snake! The Giant Snake might just clutch this match. That might that is the worst possible thing to happen to a token deck at this specific moment, other than like an ice storm. If There's you cannot attack with tokens, you cannot win. It's Leave such a big battle. hit right there, guys. Ooh. With lightning bolts, Dylan could possibly have the victory. Didn't this could be game right eight. here. Let's see. Actually, he doesn't even need to do lightning bolt. I just looked at the numbers. That that's wow! What a good oh, and he did bring out the lightning bolt for the insult win. <laughs> he threw it in his face nonetheless. Wow! So somehow, seriously, this was not by design. I didn't make it happen. My mods, my two top mods on my stream are in the grand final for the Elder Scrolls Legends Central Tournament. That is unbelievable. We just took a poll for people in chat who wanted to play and my mods were the ones to kill. Good game, guys. So here we go, guys. Let's throw it up on screen right now on what's going to be happening right now. Let's update it. Can't believe it. That was unbelievable in a way. That my mo I just I didn't see this happening. I really just did not. Let's go ahead and give him the score that he deserves. High Cat Dylan is moving on to face Andy's mod once more in the grand finals of this stream. Unbelievable, guys! Unbelievable. All right. I hope everybody's ready for this one. We're gonna see something special right here because we already know they're we already know what type of decks they're playing. One's playing Scout. And the others playing assassin. So who's a better deck? Let's let them go ahead and know to start their match. Start it up when you're ready. All right, let them go ahead and start that up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the finals. We have ourselves a match between Dylan and Andy Mod. We're gonna be looking from Dylan's point of view. I'm gonna close my eyes real quick. I don't wanna see if he can cards. All right. So there we go. 
We have an assassin deck versus a scout deck. By RK's beard. Last time Andy came out victorious with scout. Will it happen again? Will this assassin be able to move quickly and swiftly enough to win the match? Or are we really going to see Ramp Dragon Scout come out of victorious in our little tournament against Token Deck, Control Deck, Scout, a Scout Deck really is going to might be the winner. It's going to be interesting to see, guys. I, I, I'll... I still take Umbridge with the setup. I've been robbed. The what? Waters of life. <laughs> uh, but I already beat him, so I win surely. Hey, you guys wanted to have loser brackets. It's not my idea for the loser brackets, so Andy, no complaining. You're in the final, man. It's time to buck up and win. No complaining. You could complain once you're the winner. <laughs> so win. <laughs> Confound you. I would protect the hiss. Oh, this is... Knife Talon plus Rage equals best shit in the world. <laughs> yeah, Knife Talon and Rage is a is Knife Talon and um the Defiler is also good. So the Defiler is also a nice one. All right, let's see what's up next. The waters of life. If you're new to my streams, guys, I haven't said it all day, but please make sure you guys go ahead and follow. Like, you guys really should follow. So Andy's mod loses up most of his guards. He's down to 25 health. The assassin is looking pretty, but he does have eight magicka, three more magicka than his opponent. The question is, how effectively does he use his magic? Does he play a Skull Dragon right now? Does he play two? Does he play as Preserve the Root? Does he have another one? <coughs> Sorry about that. We could see a standard issue play right now. I, I could, we could see Throne His Mage. That's, that's usually a standard play right here in a situation like this. We don't see Throne, but we see a Dark Guardian. How does Dylan respond? Dylan's going to try to Friend. respond best as he possibly can. Oh, good response with a Ward Crafter. He's just going to be plucking away at his opponent right now. What I always say, guys, if your opponent cannot attack you, you're not going to lose. This is just might be that moment, ladies and gentlemen, because that's a good amount of damage on the field to only have one creature on Andy's side. But Andy is running with a really high <laughs> magicka advantage. By RK's beard, this day will be All right, let's see how this one plays out. Preserve the root on the left lane was an excellent play. As we've not seen Andy get much in the way of prophecy so far. The forest. Dylan responds with Leaf Lurker. Leaf Lurker was an excellent play at the moment. Andy's is down to 15 health and looking real desperate at the moment for trading. Because right now it's not looking great. So Shadow Priest's trade with Cliff Razor is smart. Kiss Grove is not helping in the media situation. Dark Guardian is definitely a look help. The skies. Woodland Lookout is... I don't understand the Woodland Lookout in the left lane unless he does not have the help. Oh man. Woodland Lookout in the left lane... He's just trying to mi mitigate damage and... What if he gets his dragon as his next card? I don't know, man. It's, it's all iffy at the moment. It's so dependent on what Andy Mod has in his hand. Soul Tear. Okay, Soul Tear could really help out right now. Preserve the root of the situation. I would protect Definitely the Ace. The waters of life. He's just going to pump Magicka till he can't breathe. I don't blame you, man. Pumping that Magicka might just be what helps you. 
though that his grove activation is gonna definitely be something useful. Unfortunately, his grove has been nerfed. If you guys didn't know, for the new players out there, how his grove used to work, the instant they activate, those creatures were ready to attack. It doesn't work like that anymore. So it's looking real bad. That viper has the viper has been clutched for the clutch for this tournament. The viper has just been. Such a good card to see get played and used so effectively so many times to just bring out victory. You must be cleansed. Shadow Priestess. Soul Tear. And to preserve the root one more time. Protect the 8-8 eight, eight is amazing right here. How does Dylan respond? No prophecy for Andy's mod. Does he have a way to turn these? Does he run Yield Shield? If he could turn, like Yield Shield would surely help. You need. Does he run a uh, Snake Tooth Necklace? Like, there's so many ways you could gain health back. There we have with Thorn His Mage. If Tezcat comes out, this could be such a big problem. Tezcat could just finish this game right now. Oh my goodness, does he have a way to gain health back? He hasn't, does Your not, storm is no match it's for not mine. enough, you need health. That's one Tezcat draw and that's it man, he's playing assassins. But this is just, this is mind boggling. It, he, he has enough damage to come back and win. Oh my god. Can Andy's mod go through this without hitting a lightning bolt? This is going to be crazy. And he has to go for the victory. If he does not have a snake tooth necklace, if he does not have a way to gain health, he has to go for it. We have a prophecy. Is it? Just oh, no, it's name. not. Ladies and gentlemen, will a lightning bolt come? Can Andy's mod pull off the oh, Hail Mary? Oh, my God. We're all breath. Oh, my God. Andy's mod pulls off the Hail Mary to prove Scout is the number one deck in chat. Oh, I don't even know. My goodness, that is unbelievable. Like I said, Andy, now you can complain. You can complain now that you have won. Now that you have won this tournament, Andy's mod, you are free to freaking complain. Oh my god, that was a worthy final. My mod, I, I thank you. Thank you for participating. You guys make this game what it is for me. Wow. What an amazing game. What an amazing match. Let's update the brackets right now. Let's give Andy's mod his prize he needs to win, which I really don't have a prize, but uh, you guys want to just have some fun. Holy shoot. If I could give you a drop right now, Andy's mod, I really would. Let's submit that final score. And there you go, guys. We have the final results. Andy's mod is the victorious. Let's end the tournament. And there you go. We'll look at the winners right here. Let me bring it up for you. Final results. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at them. Read Andy Mod, Supreme Champion. Supreme Champion Andy Mod. Oh, I know Dylan is hurting inside right now. Let's read chat a little bit. Oh, hold on, hold on. Worthy adversary. High cap Dylan. Maybe next time, the one true Tim. Good job, one true Tim. Good job, everybody watching. Now, I guess what people are really want to know, who is the winner of the 10 Heroes of Skyrim packs? It's time to decide the winner. Pick the winner. Now, here are the rules for this. The person who wins needs to literally be in chat to make sure that they can tell me that their name is on one of them. Let me just read chat real quick, guys. And then we'll go from there. So everybody on YouTube, I'll see you guys in a second. So we pick the winners. So hold on YouTube. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to give away the 10 Heroes of Skyrim pack to you guys here on Twitch. Right now, let's pull it up right now. If you guys have not entered, you got a few seconds to enter. I'm going to show you guys how to enter right now while you have minutes to do it. What you need to do is if you're on Twitch right now on the desktop in the bottom right hand corner, you could click on this. This is our game thing. You can play games here. You can do scratch offs and win beaky points of drops. I call them drops, but they're basically coins to play games or win prizes, right? It's like you could redeem them for different things. You could redeem them to 
Uh, follow me on Twitch right here. Uh, I can add you as a friend on Twitch, a Twitch shout out, a YouTube shout out. I can subscribe to your YouTube channel. I could become your Elder Scrolls Legends friend forever. Stream alerts, or you could do a mod. You could be a mod forever, or you could. I will bake you a, a sweet roll. Like you know, if you have ten million, I'll bake you a sweet roll. <laughs> but besides that, we also do giveaways and polls. So you want to click here, click join the giveaway, enter the giveaway. Obviously, I'm not gonna enter myself. And now with that, I told the rules and how you guys do it. It's time for me to end the giveaway and pick the winner. So let me go over to my screen. I'm going to click end giveaway. And the winner is, as you guys will see, he has to still be in chat or I will re-pick the winner. Results right here. The winner is this dude is Jimmy that that saint Jimmy the saint you are the winner of the 10 Elder Scrolls Legends pack Actually, after, I'm gonna actually make sure that's your in-game name Also, okay, Jimmy the saint is in chat because if you weren't in chat you would have not won it So thank you, Jimmy. You are the winner and I'm glad that you're here and actually active because that that makes it a lot more easier than me have to re-pick anybody He's that <laughs> X seven X Cole said he is in chat reroll. Oh, you're so mean, seven Cole. You're so mean. He's right there. <laughs> oh, you are so mean. Congrats, man. So at Jimmy, that is is that your in-game name? I need to check right now. If that is not your in-game name, um, you need to tell me your in-game name so I could send it to Bethesda. So you're this guy, right? I just want to make sure that's you in Legends. That's your same name in game. I just want to hundred percent make sure before I send it to Bethesda, and you know somebody else gets here gets it. Yep, that is me. All right, great, bro. And congrats, congrats. So once again, congratulations to Jimmy the Saint on winning the 10 heroes of skyrim packs live on here and we need to do a big shout out to bethesda ag over there for making this possible i want to thank everybody who's here tonight i want to thank everybody for the host tonight as well it's been an absolute blast we're not stop streaming but everybody on youtube everybody watching this on the archive thank you for watching and join us on twitch to have fun there's over 300 of us streaming legends live right now having fun well, in the chat, not 300 screaming us. Just come join us. Listen to the meme song. See what you guys don't. What you guys watching this on YouTube don't get is the meme music that we play as well. You guys don't get that during the stream. <laughs> Peace out, YouTube. Later.